Now we're on to the second segment. We're going to jump right in to the Average Joes. All right, the Average Joes, this team, um, people seem to not give them the credit that they're due. I believe so. People are telling me they don't think they're hitting team. I'm looking at right their lineup. Their yeah. lineup is really, really they strong. They have some hardcore veterans. Off the bat, you got Ike Mavor on the mound. And we know what uh, Ike brings to the table. Ike, right. he's one of the best pitchers in the league. and uh, in, our, in, our, in our league, he's always in the mix. If Ike's on that team, a hooker by a crook, there was a year, two years ago, he made it to the World Series and lost. People had them dead in the water, and they found Listen, ways. Ike, he seems to take, you know, even when he doesn't have a lot of talent around him, take his team to, you know, some places where they're not supposed to be. And like, we, like Sammy said before, I think this team does have more talent. He took Sam Michon. After Ike, it was Sam Michon. Sam Michon... Well, Sam Michon was a very high... Let's talk about this. Sam Michon never played in our league before. Right. And I think he broke onto the scene in you know, YMSL last so year. YMSL year. last year was a World Series champ as a rookie. Played a very strong shortstop. And was a very good hitter. And from what I hear, I know the team he's on this year doesn't have a lot of hitting. But I think he's their uh, the one solid threat in the lineup. And he's a ridiculous athlete. Oh, he's a phenomenal basketball yeah, player. So he's a great Sam Michon should definitely uh, listen. If he fills his potential of what he's supposed to be, that's definitely a lot of adding to this to, right. to this actual the team. The night league is a new league, new stuff. Could be great. Maybe it could it could work in the adverse. Maybe at night he's not not as easy for him. Yeah, but let's look position by position. We have Moni so Abadi on this he team. He may be playing the Sam Michon, big key. Maybe the center fielder. From what I hear, he says he's very athletic. He believes he can do and it. And I can see it because they actually could use the outfielder in center right. field in this team. So there's a chance he's in center, chance he's at short. Well, let's break down this team. You have Moni Abadi, who had a very, very strong uh, rookie campaign yeah, last year. last year put his name on the map. And you have a bunch of young kids like Natan Safti, who is supposedly much better than his brother Bobby. Well, we don't know about that. It might be that's what he says. Well, I don't know. Maybe we know. Not, I don't know. I, I also saw a few, you know, a few practice games. He looks much better than his brother Bobby. Ooh. So anyway, they... Um, they, uh, love they're you, playing Bobby. each other. They're playing each other week one. Well, that's something else. To that's gonna be yeah. That'll be um, built into. And they also have uh, that might be the left fielder. Wait, Daniel Abadi, who's also supposed to be an upstart. That's uh, Ezab's younger brother. And uh, listen, they have oh, Louis Batesh, strong veteran presence in the He's team. He's gonna be on the catch. And now they got also they got uh, in a very good round. They got AB Franco. Yeah, AB AB Franco. And that's what gives them the maneuverability if they'd like to put Sam Michon in center. ABJ could be at third base as a gold glove third baseman, or he could play short as a very serviceable, above-average shortstop. And everyone, listen, we're all forgetting about one of the best hitters in the league in Ralph Cohen. That's a big thing. That's where I think people look at this team and they ignore it. If Ralph's on his game... I'll tell you, Ralph's a 700 hitter. He is that yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, he went last year. He had a rough year in the night league. Um, maybe he was on a team they didn't have a lot of speed around him and uh, well, he was also being asked a lot it. now he could just be sliding right into the mix he's not being asked upon to be the star right. Ralph go up Ike. there and hit you know he has have Ike and Sam Michon in front of him in the lineup like last year he was in the Mariners that lineup wasn't uh, yeah, so hitting heavy a lot of hitting. So, so yeah hopefully Ike and Sam will be on base for him and it could rack up some really good RBI yeah, so I, I feel very strongly about the average Me shows too. I think they even might be dare I say a World Series uh, contender right yeah, now they, they could be again so far, I really don't see a lot of teams that are really, uh, like, dangerously looking really bad. But again, with the young, if one of these young kids pan out, either them, Daniel Batty or Natan, or Natan Safi, and, and 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 ABJ plays to his capabilities, which I they think he be, will, then they could be very good. And Monia Batty just does his thing. I think they're really going to be a very strong team in this league. They have that. They have that much more than we than we thought. So let's. So, uh, yeah. I do. I like them. Number two team we're going to talk about right now. Right on to the Tigers. It's yeah, Jackie Tigers, Dallas right. team. Jackie obviously having to be self slotted in, as a first rounder as a center fielder. He's ridiculous in center. I don't really need to talk about it. You yeah, guys know. Probably not probably is the best defensive center fielder in our community. Probably, yeah, right now. And he's hitting like a machine. I'm playing with him Sunday morning. He's uh, you can't get him out. And when he's out, when he's getting out, they're hard hit. Line drives. He's, he's, he's on the ball. No matter who's pitching, no matter what the field is. Well, as great as Jackie is, this team is going as far as Rob Solomon well, takes them. So now, Jackie, Rob went earlier than he's ever went. I think he was 10th overall this year. Right. Okay, now, he could be, in my mind, a first-round pick. Last year, he took that team on his back and won... A lot of games. Yeah, 50 Shades of Jade, you know, rode the Rob train, as we said all year right. last year. 
And but again, they also had other players that were picks ahead of him. He was taken because people weren't so sure about him. He only played in the league one year before that, so now he's already a proven commodity. And, and Jackie already jumped on him early. So now you're going to have those players that were taken before him not really be available for the team that he's on. Right. So that did exactly that did hurt. Maybe the talent's not as high for Rob as it was last year. No, but year. Jackie got some bats. He got he got Jackie Barry got to lucky. be and he getting a, a Teddy Ishak to play shortstop in his third round. Then he got very lucky right there. Right, he got up getting a very good shortstop. So they have, if you look at that basic team, a pitcher, a shortstop, and a center fielder. And they have the bats and Barry at second, and you have Gadaloff at first. Yes, Gaddy could hit, and Barry could play second and hit very strong as well. Um, I don't. Oh, David Shrem? No, Jack Jamal. Jack, Jack Jamal playing third is a rock at third. Right. He's got a veteran at third base. Jack again. Got to give himself another, another the nice only team. the only question I have are these kids that like Marcus Adjmi and uh, um, who else did he take on his team that I don't really hundred uh, percent sure about. Oh yeah, and David Simone. David Simone. Simone. These are his boys. These are his ja- Jackie's guys. If they end up playing like Jackie thinks they could play, maybe you know maybe this team will be right there. But they're going to be there anyway with Rob. I'll pitching. tell you the truth. Right, I'm not. Huge on this team. I like it. Don't love it. Could see their lineup being a little bit weaker than others, possibly. Maybe like last year, Jackie picked a team. They were good, but they weren't so strong possibly. But, but I will say, when you have Rob on the mound, our league has shown us he'll get you to the playoffs and possibly get you to the finals. He hasn't got him over that hump and won the finals well, yet. If you look at Rob Solomon's career in this league, first he went uh, his year one was on uh, Nemi's team, which was called Twelve and Two, Chocolate Thunder. And Chocolate Thunder lost in the semis. Or the semis or the... Or the I don't recall. In the then, semis. Then we got to the finals. Then he got to the finals last year and didn't win. So this year he might, you know, so go to the next level. Right. Maybe this is the next level and Rob takes it home. So, to be seen, it's going to be a lot on Rob and Jackie. They defensively better be strong. But um, that's what I think it is going to be on that team. When you have a pitcher like that and a great defensive outfielder, listen, Rob I, didn't have a great defensive outfield this year, so this year he's going to have Jackie in center, right? I think on the mound. I think they're a playoff team. Uh, let's just see if they're you know something beyond that. Right. We'll find out. So good luck, guys. That wraps up segment number two.